Hello Grade 9, my, my name is Miss Blake and I'm Head of Senior Schooling and the Arts and this afternoon I'm here to talk to you about the elective offerings we have in the Arts for 2024. We have four electives in the Arts that you might be interested in studying. Um, you might choose to, choose to study one or you might want to do a combination of the following. Um, visual Arts, Drama, Media and Music. Why would you study the arts? This is a question we often hear from a lot of students. Um, and the arts is really important. There has been numerous studies done on um, the benefits of arts education um, into developing well-rounded people. Um, but also too, um, studies have found that students that study an arts area um, tend to perform better academically in their senior studies and at university. Um, and the theory behind this is it does activate certain parts of your brain. It does teach you to think in different ways. Um, it does flex your critical and creative problem solving skills um, and therefore when you apply that to other areas it can be really beneficial. Um, the arts also fosters creativity and it helps you to think in new and exciting ways. Um, more and more job advertis advertisements are coming up with creativity is one of the top skills that, that employers are seeking um, from their employees. So it is really important to learn how to think outside the box and apply um, your creativity to, in, in numerous different ways. Um, the arts helps you to explore unique perspectives about the world and help you understand things from different points of view. Um, it allows you to express yourself and it helps you to develop your emotional intelligence and all of these things help you to grow into a well-rounded human being. Okay, visual arts. Um, visual arts provides you with opportunities to understand and appreciate the role of visual arts in the past and in present traditions and cultures, as well as the contributions of contemporary visual artists and their aesthetic, historical and cultural influences. So when you study the arts, um, you need to know that in all of the arts areas, we have two components of assessment. One is making, where you create the artworks, and one is responding, where you write about the artworks. So most of our units involve a combination of both, making and responding. In grade 10 visual arts, we're actually looking to revamp our units up for next year um, and we're going to be having two um, units across the course of the year which is going to reflect the new applied senior syllabus. Um, so for unit one we're going to be looking at skateboard art and um, you will be designing and painting a skateboard deck that you can keep at the end of the project um, and we'll be looking at um, you know urban art, street art, um, we'll be looking at how to use symbolism and visual language to communicate messages in art um, and I'm really excited about writing and implementing that unit for next year. Um, the second unit we'll be looking at doing is ceramics and hand building and we'll be looking at um, functional decorative objects. So it will be about um, designing um, a functional object and applying hand building techniques to create that, that object as well. That would be a really exciting unit and particularly students who enjoy working with their hands and working in 3D. Um, it's a really good unit for you to be a part of. Careers in the visual arts. So you may not um, finish school and be an artist, um, but there are a lot of other creative industries and fields that you may go into with your arts knowledge. For example, if you're interested in architecture, um, fashion design, graphic design, being an illustrator, interior design, marketing, multimedia development, um, web designing, photography, um, they're all fields where the study of visual art is gonna be very beneficial to you. Um, you can read through that list if you want um, as I'm talking, so I don't have to read it to you. But as you can see, there are a wide range of industries that you might take your arts knowledge into. Okay, drama. Uh, drama gives students opportunities to make and respond to drama by planning, creating, adapting, producing, performing, interpreting and evaluating a range of drama artworks or events in a variety of settings. It is important to know if you go into drama that it is a very practical subject and you'll be up on your feet and moving every lesson almost. Um, participation is crucial, so that means that if you're not prepared to get up and participate and perform in front of an audience, um, you probably, this may not be the subject for you, okay? You cannot pass if you do not perform in drama. Um, you'll also be required to work with other students collaboratively. So it does involve a lot of teamwork, a lot of communication, a lot of um, a lot of collaboration. So um, again, it's something that um, you need to be aware of when you come into drama. Again, we have our two types of assessment, making and responding. Making, you'll be creating and performing dramatic pieces 
and responding, you will be writing about drama. So you'll be analysing, interpreting, evaluating other drama works. Um, the units for drama um, have not yet been finalised um, for year 10, uh, but there will be a range of performance opportunities um, and a range of um, opportunities for you to explore drama through theatre, film, um, and etc. So some reasons why you might study drama is um, drama is very good for developing your oral language skills, it boosts reading achievement, it improves your social skills and builds confidence and self-esteem, it nurtures your self-expression, it teaches emotional regulation, and it increases your writing skills outcomes. There are a lot of careers that relate directly to drama, um, such as being an actor, a dancer in entertainment, um, working in the film industry, whether it's a costume designer, an editor, a presenter, a technician, um, but also think about the other careers that might not be directly related to drama but might benefit from it. So if you're interested in any way in doing a career that involves you having to get up and present in front of other people, drama would be really beneficial for you to study. Um, anybody who's thinking of going into education, where you'll be up in front of people all day, um, or law in particular, are really good careers that benefit from the study of drama. Media arts refers to art making and artworks composed and transmitted through film, television, radio, print, gaming, and web-based media. Students explore the role of media in reflecting and shaping society's values, attitudes, and beliefs. Um, in media arts, you'll be expected to plan and create short media works. You'll be writing, filming, storyboarding and editing your own productions. Again, there are two parts to our assessment. There is the making, where you'll be filming and editing your short films, and the responding, where you'll be writing about media arts works. In 10 media, we have two units of work across the year, so one per semester. The first unit is called Couch Potato, and you'll be looking at, um, I guess, Australian representations um, in TV and or film, um, and you'll be writing about those and um, creating a short blog that goes with it. And the second one is Brand Power, where you'll be looking at how um, media can be used to sell and market, and you'll be looking at social media platforms, advertising, and how you can market and sell your own brand. Careers related to media arts, again, anything in the performing industry, um, acting, costume design, games, developing, graphic designer, journalism, photography, screenwriter, scriptwriter, sound and lighting technician, director, illustrator, multimedia developer, radio presenter, web designer, um, production assistant. There is a large range of films, in the, um, sorry, roles in the creative industries that would benefit from the study of media. And last but not least, we do have music. So in music, students are involved in making and responding um, by exploring and engaging with music practices in class, school, and in the community. You'll gain practical and technical listening skills and make choices to communicate through your music. You'll be expected to compose, play, and perform in front of a small audience. So please keep that in mind if you're thinking about um, selecting music. Again, our assessment is breaking up into making and responding components, where you will be um, making, composing and performing songs, or analysing, interpreting, evaluating and writing about music. In Year 10 Music, um, the units will be broken up into terms, and you'll be looking at a variety of music genres in Semester 1, including blues and rock. And in Semester 2, you'll be looking at music, um, media, in, sorry, music and representations in the media, and then also um, looking at some classical music as well. Careers related to music include things like being a musician, a music therapist, a new media artist, a secondary school teacher, stage manager, entertainer, radio presenter, speech pathologist, TV presenter, sound technician, audio visual technician. So if you're interested in any of those types of industries, then music might be a really good choice for you. Well, thank you for listening to um, me today, go through those subject selections with you. If you do have any questions about any of the art selectives, you can come down and have a chat with me. I'm down in the Eye Centre and I'm happy to answer any questions. And I do look forward to um, hopefully studying some arts subjects with you next year and um, expanding your creativity. And um, yeah, I love seeing students get lots out of the arts and I hope we can enjoy that with you in 2024. Thank you.